Hello, Caitlin again. I'm really excited to show you the legal parts of hiring that that no one really talks about. And so um, when I worked for a juicery in California, I learned a lot about the HR requirements, the laws and documents that must be in place uh, in order to protect you and your business from being and you have to look at the responsibilities as a business owner that also come with hiring teammates. And that is understanding the legal situation that you're putting yourself in. What are you legally responsible for? Um, what threats are there? What ways can you be liable? And once you know these things, you can really set yourself up to protect yourself. So um, it may sound scary, but it's not really anything to worry about as long as you have the proper procedures in place. So that's why I am super super stuck on doing things a certain way and having certain documents in place so that and should you have a worst case scenario of being sued or being falsely accused of something you have the evidence via the procedures that you use during hiring and after hiring during onboarding and training to protect your so this is just real world stuff when you're a business owner you have to think of these things so if you're not don't worry i'm thinking of them for you and um here's the first document that you need to be aware of so pay scale sheets have you heard of a pay scale sheet uh, let me show you what you may think is a legal pay scale sheet and i'm going to show you why and look so my last client they gave me this um and i had to tell them this is not legal and i, I sent an article backing up uh why this is not legal i'll post that with this video too um so here's the thing when you're a ceo when you're a business owner you literally have to have evidence and data to prove every decision you make. That especially comes true with hiring and paying people in promotion. So there has to be a process that shows the business went through this process and uh, like a formula almost that shows that this person's gonna get this amount of money that that is legal, um, it's fair pay, um, it's relatable to the cost of living, right? So this is something really important to pay attention to. So let me show you what I created to correct this to make it a legal pay scale sheet. This is a pay scale valuation system. So immediately you see that there is literal justification as to the dollar uh, amounts that people are being paid. Um, there's a specific formula that is followed. It's not discrimination. Um, they, it even factored in the cost of living formula to guide the human resources in hiring someone. And so this also ties back into the business model. It's a specific point system based on um, the criteria that made sense for this particular organization to focus on. And it also took into consideration the socio socioeconomical environment of California. So this is super important to consider your employees, their living situations, uh, what factors do they have for disadvantages? Are they a higher risk population for certain things, uh, whether it's homelessness or food insecurity, things like that. It's really important to consider this and the incentives you provide your employees and the pay you provide your employees. Um, because that's, again, gonna incentivize people to stay you're taking care of your employees. It's super important to take care of your employees if you want them to take care of you. The systems I set up for people, this pay skill valuation, now it's literally data-based evidence. They go to this pay valuation, they look at their zip code. If there's a zip code that is like more affluent and, and the cost of living doesn't, it exceeds the allotted budget within the formula, meaning, if the formula for the, the employee's pay includes a higher payment because their zip code is more fluent, then this will disqualify the candidate if it's outside the business's budget. So right there, you see, so it's, you can keep costs down by setting standards and precedents for your business that can be proven. You have to prove the precedent, prove the standards. So these are things that I come in and support you with. Um, and of course, this would prepare you for an HR team, and the goal would be to hire an, a lawyer or a, uh, an HR professional to review everything we set up 
to make sure it complies. If, if, if it needs edits, it can be edited easily, no problem. And there's tons of programs now out there where you can pay for a lawyer monthly, for example, at a very low rate, and they'll review documents and they can give feedback. So um, these are all things I help you with in making sure you're set up legal, um, now and to protect you in the future.